The purpose of this tutorial is to show you how to use Audacity, which is a piece of software that allows you to create and edit audio files. If this is something you're interested in, open up the Audacity program to begin. The first thing I'm going to show you is how you can use Audacity to edit and create audio files with your voice. If this is something you'd like to do and you have a tablet, you have the luxury of having a microphone already built into your computer. So you can simply click on this button here with the red circle to begin recording your voice. After you click this and begin talking, you can see that that uh, audio recording appears here below. And press stop when you're finished. You could also press pause if you wanted to pause midway through your recording. Or you can, once you're finished recording that audio file, you can go back or you can fast forward. If you do not have a built-in microphone in your computer, you'll have to hook up a microphone in order to begin recording your voice. Once you've recorded your voice, there's a number of different things that you can do to this file. You can click on the play button after you click this and, begin talk. and play it back to hear it. And by clicking on play automatically, it will let you hear the entire file. However, if you just like to hear a portion of the file, select this tool right here, which is the selection tool and drag a certain portion of that audio file. Now if you press play, it will only play back the portion that you've selected. Click this and begin talking. There's a number of other things that you can do once you have, you have a portion of this file selected. Here in the middle, there's an icon with a pair of scissors. If you click on this, it will delete or cut out a certain portion of that audio file that you've selected. And it will seamlessly integrate the two other pieces together. Anytime you do something with an Audacity, you can have the option of going to edit and undo to delete what you had just done and revert back to what it had been before. With this portion that I have selected, I can also go next to this um, chop icon here and click on this copy button. Now I can put my cursor anywhere else within the audio file and click on the paste button, which is the icon with the clipboard, to insert that little selection within a different part of that audio file. If I want to, I can actually add effects to this audio file as well. I can add them throughout the entire audio file or once again just select a certain portion to add an effect to. At the very top there's a button that says effect. If you click on this and you look down the list there's a number of awesome effects that you can pick from. You may be interested in the fade in or fade out for the beginning and end of your audio file, or you may want to reverse it for fun, add the wah-wah effect, or even add an echo, which I'll demonstrate here. You can set the specific time delay you're interested in and press OK. Once you press play, you can hear how your effect sounds. After you click this, after you click talking, if you don't like the effect that you had just applied, simply go to edit and undo. Or if you want to, you can begin adding multiple effects onto that same audio file. Now if I click outside of the selection here, I can begin recording again and add another layer of um, audio recording on top of this one that I've already done. I'm going to speak now and I'm adding a separate audio file on top. Now if I play these back, they'll play together in unison. Anytime you've added an effect or added a, or rather added a layer of audio and you no longer want that uh, layer, you can click on this little X and it will eliminate that layer. If you wanted to um, see a closer up version of this audio file uh, to really get down at a smaller, more minuscule level to edit it further, you can go to this little magnifying glass icon and click on the audio file and it will zoom in on the specific portion that you're interested in editing so that you can edit it more precisely. You can go to view and um, zoom normal to resume back to your um, regular view here. So the same thing that you've done with uh, vocal recordings you can also do with music files with an audacity. If you want to, you can import in a music file and have it um, play in unison with a vocal recording that you did. So if this is something you want to do, you can go to the project button here at the top and go to import audio. Find an mp3 file that you have saved within your computer 
and we'll import that MP3. And now if you play it, you can hear how they sound together. You're also able to add, um, decide whether you would like one of those audio files to be louder than the other by moving this bar here uh, next to that audio file. Just like I had added effects to my vocal file, I can do the same by selecting a portion of the music file and going up to add an effect. I can zoom in, I can cut and paste, just like I did with that vocal recording as well. Once you're finished editing the audio file to your liking, you'll have to export that file so you can save it on your computer. If you go up to File, you can export this as a WAV file. You'll need an upgrade in order to export as an MB3. Once you export it as a WAV file, you have the ability to actually um, convert this to an MP3 with a program like FreeMake Audio Converter, or sometimes there's a lot of online free audio converters that you could use as well. Once you've saved this file to your computer, what you can do is import it into programs like PhotoStory to create a podcast, or another of other pro a number of other programs too that require audio files. This tutorial has been intended to show you how to use Audacity.